everybody. Welcome to another episode of Sundays with Selly. Today we are going to be going over amp tuning. A lot of people just put an amp in and they kind of adjust the gain till it sounds good and that'll get you, you know, 70, 80 percent there. Some people will be overdriving it. Maybe that's how you're going to have premature speaker failure, things like that. We are going to be using two JL 700 by 5 amps on this particular southport. So we're going to go through it's really, really, honestly, a simple thing to do. You need a small, straight screwdriver, and you need your VOM set to AC voltage. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna put these probes right here onto the positive and negative of the speaker channel for each of the channels, and we're gonna be looking to dial this thing into an exact voltage. Uh, I've gone ahead, uh, just have a little my cheat sheet here. So we're gonna put it on a test tune for the sub. We're gonna go at 50 hertz. And what we're gonna do, since we're bridged out on that, running each one of these subs, we're gonna be looking for about 24.5 volts on that. And then on the rest of the speaker side, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna to go to a one kilohertz. And then we're gonna be looking for a 17, yeah, 17.3 for AC voltage on the 705. Then we're gonna power everything back up, check what's going on, hear how it sounds, and then we can adjust from there. But what we wanna do for adjustments from there is dialing it down in case we're overdriving it. Very important to know when doing a uh, amp tune, all of your speakers need to be disconnected from the amp. Uh, given this install and how the wires are and everything, we've just gone ahead and we've taken all the speakers out. Uh, these are in the hard top. We've taken all the speaker wiring out so that none of the speakers are connected and left it wired in behind the dash here. Makes it a little easier. Then we go back through, we'll connect it, we'll turn it up, we'll play with it uh, and see how it sounds. Also very important when you're doing this initial tune, make sure your bass, mids, highs, all your EQs, all that stuff is just set at zero. You want a good, clean baseline. You want your volume to be at about three quarters to seven eighths volume uh, while you're dialing this all in. So I'm going to go under the dash here. I'm going to use my Garmin Verb camera to give you a different angle to kind of see how we do it. And uh, then we're going to give it a listen. It's kind of bad with the uh, video recording audio on whatever speakers you have, but you're going to get a good idea how to do this. So let's check it out. All right. So here we are under the helm. You can see we have our two JL705 amps here. I've got my voltmeter set to AC voltage. I've gone ahead and I've preset. We know that we want to do uh, high pass crossovers for our uh, component speakers. And I went ahead and set up the low pass crossover for our subwoofers. And I've gone ahead and set kind of a baseline frequency there. Uh, you know, some people will tell you you can't do it this way, but uh, we're going to do it via Bluetooth. I'm not going to do it via USB. This isn't a competition stereo or anything. I've already gone ahead and linked in. I've gone to YouTube and I've found a test tone. I need to make sure that it's playing. It is. And then we can just simply come into here. We're going to go into our subwoofer side and we're going to connect in with our probes right to here and right to there. And you see we've got 7.4. So now we're simply just going to dial that gain up. And you see as I dial that gain up, that number is going to continue up. And we're going to dial it back down. We get to the magic number. Alright, more. There we go. Alright. So there we go. That one is dialed in. Actually, I'm sorry guys, I misread that. That's why I write stuff down, getting old a bitch. So we're gonna go and dial this into 24 volts. I had overdriven it. So I always write stuff down. Like 27. Bring this bad guy down to about 24. It doesn't take much to adjust this. It really doesn't. So it's just kind of tweak it up. Put your kiss up on it. A little more. Alright, so that one's done. 
We do not have a sub in our second amp, so that's it for that one. So now we can get done with our test tune here, and we can go look for our handy dandy one kilohertz test tone. We go ahead. Now we've got that playing, and now we're going to go through and we're going to adjust all of the other speakers on this. And we were, what we're going to be looking for on this is 17.3 volts. So we go to our first channel here. Let's see that. Let's see where we're at there. Two volts. A little ways to go on that one. Just a hair. And there we go. So that one's set up. So now we can come over to our next one. And we'll get really close so I can dial it into there. Go over to our next pair. Drop in our positive or negative. Let's see what our voltage is. 11 and change. Go ahead and bring that up to 17.3. Close as we can get it. There we go. So that one is good. Then we're just gonna do the same thing. One more set over here. All right. So now. I've gone ahead, I've got all these set, got my little handy dandy test sheet here that I can check with, got my test tone playing, go ahead and kill that. So next step, is we have to reconnect all of our speaker wires. Now most installations you'd just be connecting all these wires. It's a pain in the butt to do it from here. It's quicker for us to just go ahead and reconnect all the speakers. So, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get Shannon to give me a hand. We're going to go ahead and slap all these speakers back in, and then we're going to tune it and turn it up, hear what it sounds like. And if we have to make any adjustments, we can make some final, you know, by ear adjustments if one zone's a little too overpowering by just dialing down the gain. Um, we don't want to turn it up anymore, but we can dial it back down. So, I'm going to go back up. We're going to hook some speakers up, and we'll go from there. So we've set up our baseline tune on the amps. We've gone ahead, we've got our Bluetooth in to our JL Audio head unit. We've gone ahead and we've selected our song that we want to listen to while we're going to crank this up, hear what it sounds like at about three quarters, seven eighths volume. Do a quick walk around the boat, listen, see how the spacing sounds, see how everything is. And from there, we can go ahead, we can adjust our EQ a little bit. We can bring the gain down a little bit if we've got too much highs, too much lows, or it's too overpowering. So we do have two speakers right here in our overhead. We can make those adjustments um, with a little screwdriver and just go right down to the end. So, let's go ahead. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. way overpowering in the overhead right here versus all the power for all of our other speakers. So we're just going to go down. I'm going to take the gain just down just a little bit and listen to it from there. It's kind of a personal preference how you want this thing to sound. So that's it. It's all it takes to do a proper amp tuning for your boat. To uh, get the most performance out of it. You're paying all the money for the stereo. Make sure it sounds good, guys. So, you know me? I'm going to pick a tune. I'm going to jam out. And uh, we're going to go from there. Music. 